Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy Kate Facebook Live. And today I'm going to show you a kind of a what I thought was a sweet little card that I made with the Easter Friends stamp set, which is one of the stamp sets in the uh, mini catalog, the current uh, January to June 2022 mini catalog. It is a really cute stamp set. Uh, it's not in a bundle or anything, but it's definitely one of those that's really sweet. And um, I just love the little images. The little bunny is my favorite. <laughs> can, can you tell? I used them on my card today. So, all right. So this is the card we're going to be making today. Sorry, I scooched my screen up just a little bit. Um, hopefully I get it fairly centered here. All right, there we go. Um, okay, so this is the stamp set. It's super, super cute. Hey, Karen and Bree, thanks for joining today. And thanks for hopping in a little early. I'm hoping that the sun kind of cooperates. I have windows behind me, and I'm hoping that it's not going to cause weird glares and things <laughs> as I'm doing this, because this isn't my normal time to go live. So, hey, Kay and Ginny and Kathy, thanks so much for joining today. I appreciate you all being here. All right, so this is the stamp set. Like I said, it's super cute, and I think it's perfect for all things spring. If you you don't necessarily do Easter-related cards, it's got a good spring sentiment in it. It's got a my friend sentiment in it. Um, so like I said, I think you can use it for anything spring, spring birthdays, just a hello card, whatever. So hey, Lori and Julie, thanks for joining. It is such a cute stamp set. I agree, Tammy. It's I love it. <laughs> and, and actually, we have a dog, and her face, this little bunny's face, just reminds me so much of her. Um, and, you know, she's obviously, a, this is obviously a bunny, and she's a dog, but she has kind of the big floppy ears and the big eyes, and she looks just like the little bunny in here. <laughs> so, all right, so that is the stamp set. A couple of things that I used on here. I did use the messages die, and um, that's what I cut the sentiment out with. So this is one big die, and I actually just used a little piece of basic white cardstock. I stamped the sentiment and then cut it out. So I'll show you how I did that. Hey, Catherine, glad that you're here. You love Easter cards. Spring cards are fun, definitely. So hey, Susan from New Hampshire, thanks for joining as well. Um, one of the other things that I used is one, another one of my favorite die sets, which is the Tasteful Labels dies. And um, I used the little banner die to cut this little banner behind here. And actually, um, I stretched the banner a little by just snipping it in two. And again, I'll show you how I did that um, as we're uh, going through and putting things together. So oh, yeah, it's a bunny. Oh, see, it's just the cutest little bunny face I think ever. <laughs> So, and then the final thing that I used on this card is, you know, this is, I don't know why I even, you know, take these away from my desk because I use them on everything. <laughs> it's one of the stitched rectangle dies. And it's in fact the third largest of the stitched rectangle dies that I used to cut out the little bunny image. All right, so let me set a few things aside and um, grab a couple of papers here and we'll run the run through the updates from Stamp It Up and um, then we'll get going on the card. So we've got the all together uh, stamp, or product collection, I should say, that is available now from Stampin' Up. So um, it is, again, available all as an entire big collection. So you can order everything with one number or you can order things individually. Hey, Melanie, thanks for joining. I appreciate you being here. Um, there are some new Stampin' Blends in this collection. Stampin' Up has let us know that the blends, um, a couple of the colors are running low inventory. So they think they're actually going to run out before, um, before the promotion ends. So they are going to be restocked, so don't panic. It's not that you won't be able to get them, but if you're wanting them soon, get them now because I just looked at the inventory list this morning and it's probably changed since I looked at it, but there are already three of the sets that are on low inventory. So make sure, sure that you get these ordered if you want those um, Skin Tone, the Natural Tones Stampin' Blends collection, which you will want it, so just get it. <laughs> so... Um, you can also get the stamp set and die bundle, um, the, just the stamp set, just the dies, or just the designer series paper. Um, one thing to know about this stamp set bundle and designer series paper, these items are actually going to be going away as of May 2nd, I think. They're talking about extending the promotion a little bit since the blends are not going to be available for a short time. Um, so they may, last I heard, May 2nd would be when this would be ending. But these items are not going to be in the next annual catalog. The blends are, so... All right. Good morning, Betty. I appreciate you joining from Oregon as well. Um, and one more upcoming item that Stampin' Up! has, they have the Ways of the Ocean product collection that will be available beginning March 1st for customers to order. And it is absolutely beautiful and you're definitely going to want it. Again, it's one of those where you can order everything with just one number. 
Um, or you can order just the stamp set bundle, just the stamp set, just the dies. And then we have this beautiful paper and these beautiful gems. And I don't know how many times I can say beautiful because they're beautiful. <laughs> so definitely get your hands on the Waves of the Ocean 12x12 12 12 designer paper, the Blue Foils 12x12 12 12 specialty paper, and the Rhinestone Waves basic jewels. Um, this one is the opposite of the previous one, the stamp set bundle. And so stamp set dies and the bundle pricing are all going to be carrying forward into the annual catalog. These beautiful accessories are not. So make sure that you get those ordered soon. They're only available through March or through May 2nd while supplies last. So it starts March 1st, runs through May 2nd while supplies last. All right. Let me know if you have questions on that. And the details will be on my blog as well. Okay. So let's get going on this card finally. Um, my original card, I have it as a top fold card. So it is a four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half card base. Um, this one also works with just your standard book fold card. So whichever way that um, you prefer to, you, to have your card bases work, this one will work with either way. Um, I have got a piece of the Heart and Home Designer Series paper. Um, and what I love about this wood grain is if you did want to make several of these, there are like a billion different wood grain patterns, not a billion, you know, quite a few different wood grain patterns in that Heart and Home Designer Series paper pack. And you can really use any of them on the background, underneath the bunny, any of the wood grain panels would be great. Um, so uh, cardstock cuts and everything will be on my blog tomorrow and I will link it up in this video once the blog post goes live so no need to worry about all that stuff but um, just wanted you to know to take a peek at the blog post tomorrow if you want to know all the measurements um, but I will try to say them and try to say them correctly and try to get them correct in the the pdf as well yikes <laughs> so um, but this is four and a quarter by five and a half panel of Heart and Home Designer Series paper, and I'm sticking it to the front of the, uh, this one is cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter card base. All right, so I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to get just some basic white cardstock that's got some gunk on that side, so we'll flip it over to the other side. Who knows what's on there? <laughs> so, oh, thanks, Elise. It's such a cute a cute, cute, cute stamp set. So, all right, so I've got my little bunny image and basic gray ink, and we are gonna be stamping it again on basic gray, or basic white cardstock. So I'm just gonna make sure that I've got the image inky here. And it's a super simple card, which, you know, there aren't too many that I do that are terribly complex, but this one's really easy. <laughs> so, all right, so let me get my little bunny stamped on here. And hopefully we get a good image. Yep, we did. Isn't that just the cutest little bunny? <laughs> I just, I don't even know if it's a him or a her, but I love the bunny. All right, and then I'm going to grab the uh, soft seafoam ink, and this is a little grass image from that same stamp set, and I'm going to ink this up, and we're just going to stamp it sort of randomly around the little bunny feet. So we're going to stamp it once there, uh, once over here, and then this one probably is mostly covered, but I just stamped it a third time just for good measure. Um, and like I said, it's mostly covered by the sentiment, but the top of it kind of peeks out, so I wanted it still there. All right, so we've got our little bunny stamped. The next thing that I did, which I don't know how well you can see it on here, is I did add a little bit of petal pink um, Stampin' Blends, just colored just a little bit on the little bunny cheeks um, because I thought that he or she needed a little, a little blush on the cheeks. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. So again, it's just petal pink. And this is the light Stampin' Blends that I used. Although you could use the dark too. I don't think either one would be fine. All right, next thing that I did was I cut this out with my third largest of the stitched rectangle dies. Um, so again, I'm just gonna run this through the die cutting machine. When I'm cutting it, I want it to be a little closer to the top than to the bottom because this is where my sentiment and everything is gonna be. So I need, you know, would prefer to have a little more white space at the bottom and not worry so much about, um, you know, rather than sliding it way up and having a big blank space up at the top. So we're gonna slide it down just a little bit and uh, cut the little bunny out. Uh, the grass is soft sea foam. If I didn't say that, I apologize. So it is a cute little bunny. I just love him or her, whatever it is. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine off to my side here. Hopefully y'all are enjoying your Tuesday. And thanks for hopping on early with me today. The kids have dentist appointments this afternoon, so I figured we probably better get those done um, instead of my live at 2 o'clock. All right, so I've got the die cut done. Put my die back on the the metal or the sheet that I've got for it. And then the next thing I did was took a little bit of balmy blue ink and one of my um, blending brushes and just added a little bit. It's not very much balmy blue ink around the edge of the bunny. 
um, just to add, I don't know, I wanted it to look a little like sky. That was all I was, all I was going for. Um, when I use the blending brushes, I usually ink them up and then do a swirl on cards or on uh, scrap paper and then go to my project with them because sometimes you end up with a little more ink on the blending brush than you want. And um, then you end up with a glob of ink on your <laughs> paper that you don't necessarily love. So, hey, Margo and uh, Debbie, thanks for joining today. I appreciate you being here and saying hello. All right, so again, just using the blending brush, doing um, inking it up, um, putting it on scrap paper, and then just rubbing it right around the bunny, just brushing on a little bit of ink. Um, I didn't get too, too close to the bunny because I didn't want ink on, on the bunny. Um, just wanted it to go around. All right, and I think we're gonna call that good. So again, like I said, it didn't need to be tons and tons of ink on it, just a little bit, a little bit to add a little color. And it definitely, I'm looking at the video and it's very light on the video. It's not super, super dark for me, but it's definitely darker. I don't know if it, you can see it a little bit better if I hold it up a little bit, um, but just adds a little bit of, of shading around the edge of the little bunny. And then we're gonna adhere that to the card front. The bunny is just the cutest, see? I'm glad it's not just me that thinks that. <laughs> so, all right, I've got my little chopped up Stampin' Dimensionals, my little half Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm gonna adhere this to the card front with my little chopped up Stampin' Dimensionals. And there we go. Stick a couple of them down, peel off the backing. And I know it drives some people crazy that I use the half Stampin' Dimensionals. If you like the whole ones, you're welcome to use them. I just like the half ones. So. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> All right, the next thing I did is just adhered it to the card front and tried to get it centered top and bottom, side to side. Um, hopefully I got it pretty close to centered. Then I did ahead of time, I went ahead and cut a piece of the, this is from the Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. You may recognize, well, it's a pretty little piece of it, um, but it's Pansy Petals from the annual catalog. And then I used the um, the little stitched banner die from the Tasteful Labels dies, and I just cut it up the um, Designer Series paper and tried to get it somewhat straight. I didn't get it very straight, but kind of straight on the, on the little plaid. And then I'm just going to take my paper snips, and I'm just going to hack it right into. And again, it doesn't need to be perfectly cut. It doesn't need to be, you know, whatever. It's because you're gonna be adhering a sentiment over the top of it. So nobody's gonna notice um, that you are that you didn't cut it perfectly straight. So, yeah, see, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to think spring here because my feet are freezing. <laughs> it's, it hasn't been, I don't know, it's, I think when we got up, it was 11 degrees this morning or some crazy thing. So too cold, Eek, I'm ready for spring. Enough of the snow already. I mean, the snow is pretty and all, but ugh, I'm done. <laughs> done with the snow for this year. All right, then I adhered these together. There's probably, I think I put in the, on my um, blog post a quarter of an inch. It was probably closer to a half an inch little gap in between the two. The main thing I wanted it to be was close to the edges and that it was gonna peek out around my sentiment. So that's how I ended up with the awesome measurement of just slide it apart and put it close to the edges. <laughs> so, and then um, you do want to try to get it so that they look like they're lined up straight uh, once you put your sentiment over the top of it. But I do that a lot of times with my layers underneath. If I want a little kind of stitched edge on a banner like that, I use the small banner die to cut it and then just chop it in half because nobody can see it anyway. So, all right. Um, I've got a little piece of basic white cardstock and I'm going to pull out my balmy blue ink pad again. And that I mounted on there totally crazy and then I've got the my friend sentiment from the Easter friends stamp set and we're just going to ink that in balmy blue and stamp it here on the basic white cardstock there we go a super simple and cute little sentiment as well and again if you prefer to make it as an Easter card you can definitely use the Easter sentiment too um, I was just trying to make it be a little more general and not so easter -y, even though it's pretty easter -y with the bunny. Um, all right, then we've got the Messages die, which is actually a die that's designed, it's coordinated with a stamp set or two. I'm not sure if we have two that are current anymore, or just one. Um, but you can stamp a whole page, basically, of, of uh, sentiments and then cut them all out at once with this die. I find the die more useful for cutting out little individual sentiments like this that fit inside it. So I just find the opening that I want to use. You know, I, this one, it would have worked as well. So I just find the opening that I want to use for my sentiment, 
put a small piece of basic white cardstock underneath it and then run it through. You don't have to do the um, entire piece of cardstock if you don't want to. Um, so to me, it's a little less wasteful if I've got a little, you know, just use a little piece and chop it up rather than using a great big piece and then having to throw all the little little bits away. So, hey, Karen, thanks for joining. And no worries, I'm a little early today because we've got dentist appointments for the kids this afternoon. So. All right, just running that through my die cutting machine here. I'll show you my chopped up cutting pads here. So then I just pop the little pieces out and then it just, it, like I said, it cuts up a little bit of extra paper, but not too much. Um, so then we've got our sentiment done. And my nose is dripping, so I've got to... <laughs> All right, um, so then we've got our sentiment. We're gonna adhere that to the card front with a couple of my little chopped up stamp and dimensionals. Um, I think we'll go ahead and we'll put three of them on here three of the little pieces, hold it securely in the on the card front. And then again, I'm just gonna make sure that I have covered my banner, the opening in the banner, and then have it centered fairly, fairly centered top to bottom, if that makes sense, um, on the banner. So I want the little, little sort of rounded pieces to be centered on my banner. So that was what I was aiming for when I put it together. The next thing that I did was I got petal pink and I got out a piece of soft sea foam cardstock and I totally forgot to grab my punch. Hold on. Come on, where's my strawberry punch? Please. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and of course the dog's barking. Goodness, I had pulled everything out and pulled it together, um, but I left my punch laying off to the side where I'd put everything together at, and uh, total anyway, <laughs> it's here now, so we're good. All right, so Strawberry Builder Punch, which is um, one of the, the cute punches from the annual catalog. There is a coordinating strawberry stamp set that we didn't use today, um, but I did use a little flower piece from this, and I punched a little flower from Petal Pink cardstock, and then actually punched what is should be the strawberry top from um, soft sea foam cardstock. So let me get the little bits out of the way here. And then I turned this into leaves basically. So all I did was took this, kind of chopped it right in half like that. And then now I've got leaves and a flower. And I totally, there's somebody, I think it was maybe Jesse Holt, and somebody from Australia I saw do this first. So this wasn't my original idea to put the little bunny holding the flower, um, but I saw it and I couldn't, couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait to do it. So yes, the dog is joining in and she's, she heard me banging around trying to get the punch and she thought somebody was at the door. And so then she runs over by the door and starts barking and you know, dog stuff. <laughs> so, all right, so I've used a little glue dot. Hopefully, I guess I should hold it up a little closer. A little glue dot, and I'm just going to adhere my little flower and um, my, what sort of turn into leaves together with the glue dot. And then we're going to adhere that to the card front as well. So just going to grab some extra glue dots here. Um, maybe one extra over here. All right, and then we'll stick that on the card front. So, Hey, Sherry, thanks for joining. All right, so we've got our little bunny here, and I wanted to make it look like the little bunny was holding the flowers, so that is why I stuck it on the way I did. <laughs> so I stuck it on right here, sort of over the top of the bunny's, I know they're not hands, but you know, with the bunny hands. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna kind of lift up just to give the, the flower petals a little bit of a lift to make it look a little, I don't know, a little more 3D-ish with the flowers and then smoosh it down in the middle so that the, the um, flower is stuck down well with the glue dot. And then the last thing for the card front is I've got some of the pearl basic jewels and we're just gonna stick three of those in the flower center. Maybe, there we go. Fingers are not want to work. I should have grabbed my take a pick tool, which I might do that because, there we go. My fingers are definitely not wanting to pick these pearls up today. All right, so we've got one. Let me get this one loose two, and then we'll grab one more, three, there we go. And I'll kind of scooch them around, make sure they're somewhat centered, and then smoosh those down as well so that they're 
on the card front and that's it so it's a super simple card and um like i said i just i love the little bunny <laughs> so all right so that was it for the outside of the card on the inside of the card uh, i stamped the spring sentiment in balmy blue ink and just gonna go ahead and ink that up and this is basic white cardstock and just make sure i've got it right side up hopefully i've got it fairly straight all right, I think that worked out pretty well. Um, so again, basic white cardstock. This is cut to four by five and a quarter so that it'll fit nicely inside my card base. And then I have totally lost, here it is. I was gonna say, I've totally lost my soft sea foam <laughs> ink pad. I've got soft sea foam ink and again, the little grass image. And I'm just gonna stamp that a couple of times here on the bottom of this panel. And that's going to be it for the card. So super easy. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you like it, Susan. Like I said, it's, it's such a cute stamp set and so, so easy to use. And I love the little bunny face. And I've totally misplaced all of my adhesives. Everything is all over my desk. So, all right. So I've got stamp and seal. We're going to adhere this to the inside of the card base. All right. Put the cap on that before I end up with that stuck to something it shouldn't be stuck to. And the dog's going to start barking again because she hears a delivery truck outside, <laughs> even though I don't think they're even delivering to our house. So, all right. I'm going to use my bone folder, give it a good solid crease here. And that's it for the card. So super simple. Love the bunny. Hopefully you all do too. If you missed it, it is the Easter Friends stamp set. And you definitely need to get it because it's really, really cute. And like I said, I think it's perfect for all things spring, um, not just Easter. I love the little duck and the chick images too. But the bunny is the one that really, you know, I had to use it. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. I will plan to be live at my normal time at 2 o'clock Eastern time on Friday on YouTube and then back here hopefully at my normal time next week Tuesday around two o'clock eastern time. Thanks again for joining. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions. Again I'll be posting the details on the blog tomorrow and I will link it up in this video um, so you'll be able to check out all the details then. Thanks so much.